texting us. Yes, darling. Let's get into some of these questions and comments under my videos. <laughs> I decided to make an impromptu video. This was not planned, but I had to record some other things. So here I am. Why not? Why not? Since we have the camera on. All right, here we go. I'm a Scorpio male with a Leo moon and a Pisces rising. And I'm in a relationship where my girlfriend thinks I'm narcissist, dominating, and manipulative. All right, here we go. We can just stop there. <laughs> we can just stop there. Whew. You're in a relationship with someone who thinks you're all of these things. Well, the first thing that I would say to you, because your relationships are about you and you choose them. I just want to reiterate this and I'm going to, I, you know, my tongue is going to fall out at some point, at some point from repeating the same things over and over and over. And a lot of you guys are new to my channel, so welcome in. For those of you who are seasoned, you already know what I'm going to say. No one forces you into a relationship. So a lot of you guys have complaints about your spouses, but you're still there. You're still there. So what is it about someone you know, who complains, what is, what is it about that behavior that is stimulating for you or that you like or turns you on? Because for me, I have a trigger with very critical people and I got some nerve with a Venus and Virgo. <laughs> I, got, I got some nerve. <laughs> and, um, but I've learned to keep my mouth closed. It's been, you know, it's one of my most valuable assets is staying quiet, letting the dust settle and allowing Pluto to just tear things apart. <laughs> and then I'll come out with my hammer and rebuild, honey. And so you have a person who's giving you a disorder. Narcissist disorder is a, is a real true problem. And, you know, dominating these things like, are you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. But I do know that you have a complaint about an individual that is still a girlfriend. You didn't say X. So you're still there, right? So you have to decide whether or not all these complaints are good enough for you to maintain the relationship. After a while, it's going to chip at your self-esteem. It is. You know, I know what it feels like to be with someone who who didn't value me and who said really nasty things and tried to chip away, right? But at the same time, when I was in that friendship, I'll call it, my value was low, my self-esteem was low. So really, they were just mimicking, you know, my inner self, really. And so I can't. I can't blame them. I can't do the blame game because at that time, that's how I felt about myself. So, you know, your world is just you on the outside. And so I, I really do wish you well, you know, dating someone who talks about you like that. I mean, you got to figure that out. Yeah. Okay, darling. Let's go to the next one. I absolutely love this comment because these comments are rampant under my videos and the energy of it, the energy that comes along with the comment is pain, residual hurt, longing, a little bit of longing is thrown in there and someone who's looking for answers. They're still looking for answers, right? So here we go. I did a video called Signs of Scorpio Doesn't Like You. And this person responded, well, it's their loss. Okay. So first of all, you're under a Scorpio video, which tells me that you're seeking answers and that you still have some residual feelings and maybe animosity, but some longing for answers, something. You're still seeking something. 
when you seek out astrology videos for a specific sign, you're looking for something, okay? You're looking for something because I don't watch other astrology videos. I don't. I don't really have an interest in watching other people talk about astrology unless it's in some, like, some fun, unique way that I haven't heard before. And because I deal with astrology every single day of my life, unless you're bringing something new that I haven't heard that I don't know, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm not watching your videos. And so here we go. This person says they're lost. Scorpio doesn't like me. They're lost. I'm a Cancer. So they wanted me to know that they're a sister water sign. And I had a very good friend. I don't know what that means. When other people call us very good friends, listen, I don't know what that entails. I've been called the best friend. I've been called the close friend. I've been called the good friend. I've been called this, that, and the other by many people through the span of my life. And I will have to say, I didn't feel that way about those people. My honesty. I have a very good friend at work, a Scorpio woman. She seemed to adore me. She charmed me, right? With her intense gaze. We just... <laughs> we just we just bring you in with that with those eyes, right? She hypnotized me. Oh goodness, with her charm. But then once we had a fight. Now I don't know what that means. Were you swinging? Did you get knocked out? Did the teeth go flying? Or was it a verbal altercation? There's a big difference. I've had fights. Once we had a fight and I was right. I don't know, were you right? Due to her pride, pride, she didn't want to admit her fault or apologize. But instead, she turned into my enemy. I was on the receiving end of mockery, slander, um, and all these different things, okay? So after that, they had a fight. I, I can't read this whole thing. She was on the receiving end of mockery, this, that, and the other. And then she said the Scorpio came back trying to be friends with her, and she denied the friendship. Well, that's your choice. You know what? Here's what I think. If you're good friends with someone at work or you feel that you're good friends or you feel like you've built some camaraderie, some trust with someone and you get into some verbal altercation because that's what it sounds like it was and they don't want to admit they're wrong and, and, and they don't want to apologize, you have the right to discontinue that friendship. You have every right in the world to say, you know what, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Especially since you said there's mockery going on, everybody was coming at you, this, that, and third. You have a right. Discontinue it. And when they come back, and I don't know why she's coming back. That's a, that's a whole other video. You have the right to say, no, I don't want to be friends because of this, that, and the other. Right? But it sounds like to me that you're not done internally. You're very sad. You're very hurt. You're very destroyed. Something about her broke you down. And that, I mean, that's what Scorpios do. We do break you down in many ways. And so that's why you're on my channel looking for answers. And I'm going to tell you this. I don't think it's worth you still picking at the bruise. Walk away. You know, I know we are, we are very charming. We are very hypnotic. We are very mesmerizing. <laughs> we are. It's true. Oh, it's true. I've had relationships with Scorpios. You know, and we just touch each other so deeply. And I'm different. I'm not a cancer, so I can't speak for you guys. But I know this. I know there's a connection between me and other Scorpios that aren't like others. And, and when it's broken, it's really painful because there's some, there, it, it takes us too long to build it, right? It's like building this beautiful penthouse for years. I mean, that's made of stone, not a bullshit penthouse. Like one that's like the best gravel and you've got the best ingredients and... It, you know, it can't be not. You think it can't be knocked down, and it and it it gets bulldozed. It is just to watch it fall is a mess, right? It's a mess. This is why Scorpios represent the Tower card in uh, Tarot, 
Um, you know, everything can fall apart. It can. It can be broken down. Pluto will break you down no matter how powerful you think you are, no matter what great friend you think you are, and this, that, and the other. You can be broken. I can be broken. Bro I have been broken down. Read my book, Dating Scorpios. <laughs> it's all there, honey. I've been broken to pieces, like Humpty Dumpty. And so I don't think it's worth it for you to pick at the scab. I think it's very painful for you. I think you're still there in that relationship. And I would say maybe she didn't feel the same way about you. I don't know why she's coming back. Maybe there, you know, there's probably residual pain on her end too. A lot of people think Scorpios just walk away, you know, unscathed. We have emotions too. We're deeply sensitive and emotional. We have, a, you know, a lot. Um, we're very intense people. We, we don't make friends like cancers do you know we're a different water sign and so you know for her to maybe to build trust with you she's probably pissed off too and i don't know why she's coming back i'm not saying she's coming back for revenge or anything those are possibilities but for you you sound like the one that's pretty destroyed right now i don't think it's worth it for you to pick up the scab let it go never talk about it again stop watching scorpio videos thank you for the al algorithm but Stop watching Scorpio videos. Stop obsessing about this friendship. Sounds like it's over. And I know a lot of things. It's really hard for cancers to let go. You're the crab. You have those pinchers. You're the fourth house of just those roots. And the worst thing you could do to a cancer is pull the rug from under their damn feet. Scorpio, we can handle it. We can break down and rebuild. Um, we're not about roots and home and family. But... For cancer, that's, I mean, friend to you is family. And so let it go. And um, you can find a lot of techniques on how to do that, where to put the triggers. I have crash courses, um, how to deal with your triggers, um, where to place them, what to do instead, how to let those feelings dissipate. Very, very important. All right, here we go. Woof, this is a long one. Oh, we're not even done. Ah, somebody responded to that comment. Goodness. And it is way too long, but I will tell you this. Somebody came to the comments and responded to this one with the cancer girl saying, it's their loss, blah, blah, blah. She did all this to me. And somebody says, I agree with you 100%. Scorpios have deep denial issues. They are never wrong. They will cross you, betray you, cheat on you. And they have the nerve to warn you not to cross them. Woof. Um, so, this person is just going on and on and on and on and on. And um, she said, I would steer clear from them, period. They are truly miserable demons built on double standards in regards to respect goodness so hurt people attract other hurt people which is why comments usually have threads and so this is you know my message is the same for this person you know you guys there's a lesson in in this that you guys aren't seeing you're not getting it you're not getting if you're meeting a demon or a ghost, or a ghoul, <laughs> whoever, you have to look at and say, you know, look at yourself and say, how am I attracting this situation? There has to be accountability, you know, there has to be accountability. And I love accountability. I look at myself in all variations and I'm like, wow, well, I keep attracting demons. Either uh, I part one, uh, you know, I'm exuding something that they like, you know, and it's just time to work on yourself. I know it's the most challenging thing there is to actually get in that mirror and pull out all of your issues, right, that they're looking for. Because demons are coming for you, and I did a video on this, somebody else called us a demon, goodness. And um, why would a demon look for you? Why would, why would that happen? Why would, why would you attract, uh, you know, people who are traumatized? You know what I mean? Like, all the healthy people walking around, they go right past you, and you get the one with trauma. You know, and this sounds traumatizing. You guys should see how long this, um, goodness. <laughs> Baby. 
Are you kidding me? Woo. <laughs> My goodness. So that's what I have to say to you guys. Um, you know, I, you don't have to forgive someone if you don't want to. But I, just for you, you're walking around hurting. You That's got to dissipate. I've had scenarios where certain Scorpios, you know, energy lingers with me. And I, and I know why. You know, and if, if, if their energy is lingering with me, mine is powerful as hell. I know I'm lingering with their ass. <laughs> and it may not have been the best situation. Doesn't mean that they're a terrible person. But it just, it just may not be the best situation. Alright guys, I wish you all the best. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. I'll see you at ScorpioSunScorpioMoon.com where you can buy the paperback or audio version of my book, Stating Scorpio and Rise from the Ashes, The Scorpio's Guide to Self-Esteem and Rebirth. I have a third book on the way. I'm so excited for it. I'm going to make a big announcement when she is ready for you. Uh, while you're on the website, you can take one of my nine crash courses. I even have a love spell. I have a meditation uh, MP3 that you can listen to. It's been very helpful for, for me to do meditation and affirmations every single day. Like, you know, you guys have read, you know, you go in, in my, my community post and I always post different scenarios for you guys. I talk about my past, I talk, I talk currently, I, I spoke about a situation that happened the other night and um, you know, sometimes you just gotta look in the mirror and say I'm good enough. I do it every day, you know, especially those rough days that I have where somebody disturbs my peace or I allow them to disturb my peace, I want to say, and, or I'm a little bit off or, you know, I, I just get in the mirror and say I'm worthy, I'm good enough. I am good enough for whatever I want. You know and um, I want you guys to get in the habit of that so I have a meditation right before you go to bed so that you can train your subconscious because your words you know the things that you've been telling yourself for years the things people have been saying to you some of them are so volatile that you it doesn't matter so much that you say a lot of affirmations a lot of you guys don't believe them and um, getting to the point where you believe it is takes a lot of practice it really does and every single day I, I talk to myself every day I'm worthy I'm good enough those are the most one of the most two of the most powerful words you can say and a lot of you guys don't even feel worthy of a good relationship you know you're in one and he's narcissistic you don't feel good enough you don't feel worthy and so I want you guys to be doing these affirmations I want it to get into the subconscious where the rest is gone and there's no question about your value and things like you don't it's not even a conversation that you're having with people you know in your head what you require and you're not answering your phone and you're in, you're not talking about it and so i have many crash courses dating scorpio so you can get to the basics how to raise scorpio children how to get a scorpio back if you're not if you you know you weren't I can team the Turner, you know, type of relationship. I'm talking about something mild. And um, I have a love spell, which is sexual, so you have to be over 18. And uh, what else is new? Oh, if you're in New York City, you can, act, you can buy my books at Quest Bookshop uh, on East 53rd, Namaste Bookshop, and Om Shanti Bookshop, both on 14th Street, one on East, one on West. And, um, my shop is amazing. I have new jewelry pieces. All the sale items are an additional 40% off by using the code Real Scorpio. I have an amazing, um, you know, self mastery chart reading. If you want to get that and learn about all your personal planets, learn about who your karmic people are. I give you birth dates. I tell you about your superpowers, where you're strong at. I tell you about your career. I tell you how to eradicate all of, you know the parts the painful parts that you focus on i'll show you where those are in your chart and we'll come to a solution on where to put that trauma and so you can start chipping away so it's a really a full-blown chart and for those of you who've gotten a chart reading hopefully you've left you know uh, commentary so you guys can actually look at the commentary um of people who've gotten readings and see what they have to say the reviews 
If you want to chat with me, you can book a personal live stream session. Um, I believe there's one coming up with a couple of different times. So a lot of people DM me like, how can I talk to you? Can you call me? No, I'm not calling you. I'm not. I'm not going to call you. What do I look like? Hello? Uh, oh, my phone was upside down. Wait. <laughs> Start over. Hello? Oh, you broke up with your girlfriend? Oh, okay. Like, what do I look like? Like, are you, why? Why would you ask that of me? No, I'm not calling you. Book a live stream session like everyone else, and we can go through it. And by the end, you'll have the answers you want. Trust me, I always, always, always get there for everyone. What else is going on? You can uh, scroll through my exclusive videos. I'm working on one this week. I'm going to be over at No Makeup Needed working on a very important video about beauty over 40, darling. And I'm going to be on uh, Scorpius on Scorpio Moon podcast soon, running in my mouth. And um, I think that's all I have for you guys. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And that's it. I'll see you soon. Ha, ha, ha.